Hello friends, Fagun Shah from Integration Lab here. So today we are going to learn how to send bulk messages using Public Connect and 360 Dialog WhatsApp Business Official API, right? So now the current issue uh, you may be facing is like you have feared like like that maybe your number get blocked if you send too many messages, and if you want to send message with delay in between then probably only provide minimum of one minute delay you cannot set delay less than of one minute so this is the issue many people are facing another one is probably does not have inbuilt spin text feature right but you can create actually that feature inside public connect using all the free tasks right uh, so we are going to see that as well so what we are going to basically do is like we are going to send five messages per minute right and using the spin text that will reduce your uh, chances of getting blocked by whatsapp so let me show you the template i have uh, created inside 360 dialog for sending a template message so the one is something like hi hello type of thing okay let me show you the output as well so this is hello hey or hi any one of these three value will be go here then there will be a name right and then again do you want to and three uh, third variable is for the question right then we uh, set up some static text here and again there is a fourth variable so number one three and four are spin text variable okay we will pass those value using spin text Anybody who doesn't know what spin text is, you can just search on the web. Basically, it is a, like uh, you pick up a random text uh, related to particular messages. Okay, I will show you in detail in just a few minutes, right? Uh, fifth variable is actually a link and then just dash integration lab, which is a company name, right? Now, show. let me show you the data. So this is how the data looks. We have uh, quite a lot data entered here okay all the number is same uh, for testing purpose my number okay and the actual logic to send five messages per minute is in here so we have one extra column beside name and mobile which is called a delay and delay column has this particular formula integer row c1 minus 1 dash 5 plus 1 I do not want to go in the technicality of this particular formula, but let me tell you what it will do. So basically it will increment the number each five row after each five row. So for example, it will, uh, if you just drag and uh, drag it, it will add one in the five, uh, first five rows, then it will increment it by one. So it will add two for the five times, then again three for five times and then four for five times, right? So this is the main logic to generate a delay. And then we will use this delay column inside our public connect workflow uh, to uh, send uh, messages with particular delays. Okay. So let's uh, jump to the public connect workflow now, right? So here is the workflow now. So we have set up the Google Sheet as a trigger, but in actually we haven't like uh, set up anything in the extension to like send the data. Uh, we have only uh, done the initial setup. And if you don't know how to do the initial setup, you can watch my previous video on Google Sheet. Okay, I will leave the link in the description. So once the initial setup is done, we will be sending the data from uh, this particular action called send custom data okay we will not use send on event or send on schedule because we are going to send this data in bulk uh, manually okay now there are other ways as well like to schedule the pickup of, of all the data available inside this particular sheet but again that is a video for another day okay if anyone wants to know about that they can uh, consult me via facebook messenger okay i will leave that facebook messenger link in the description as well so let's jump back to public connect workflow 
so here we have set up a web hook in google sheet and from there we are getting a name mobile and delay right and uh, then we have created a spin text so as i said that uh, first variable third variable and fourth variable are spin text variables so what does that exactly mean so basically we want a uh, publi to pick up from hi hey and hello randomly and pass that into the message as a variable right so for that we have uh, used publish number formatter and action event will be the a uh, spreadsheet formulas right now the good thing is it is a completely free task so publi lets you create a spin text completely free okay which is a very big plus point for us so here we have use uh, choose formula and then we are generating a number randomly between 1 and 3 so each time it runs through here it will generate either 1 or 2 or 3 okay and based on that it will choose from this three value if it generates one then it will choose the high if it generates two then it will choose the hey if it generates three then it will choose the hello so this is how it will work and it gives us the response result as a high okay same goes for the next variable uh, where we are just asking a question like uh, asking a pinpoint question many people will from marketing will say right so we have again set up similarly now we are here passing four question instead of three you can pass any number of question it doesn't matter you just need to change the total number in here instead of four you need to maybe pass five six seven whatever you like okay so now the first question is learn automation using public connect do you so the full question will be do you want to learn uh, automation using public connect right and so on and so on in the end it will give us result something like this okay now the next variable is uh, then register for our free automation course or mini automation video series or automation newsletter series link for all the three will be the very uh, same so we are only using three spin text and the link will be actually a variable in a template but in workflow it will be very uh, static thing okay now here comes the delay part which is the most important so as you can see i have mapped the delay from the google sheet uh, column right so that way it will only send five messages per day why because in google sheet it only has five rows with one minute of delay value right so it will only send five messages per minute if we go to the next step you will see that we are sending a whatsapp message and we have mapped the spin text value in here for hi hello and hey then we have mapped the name from the google sheet step then again spin text then again spin text and then we are passing the link of our uh, website or maybe sign up page whatever you like okay and in the end we are just sending a message okay so why not try it right now live in the video right so let's send a custom data in here so what we want to send is is e2 to c15 okay so it will send that particular data to public connect workflow so we will click on the submit it will take some time to like close this pop up and the data will be selected in here okay now the public connect 1 minute delay is actually minute change delay so currently it is 656 am in india and 30 seconds okay so it will actually send the first five messages just in 30 seconds instead of 1 minute okay but the next message will have one full minute of extra delay okay so let's go back to public connect workflow let's go in the history you can see already so many workflow are ready here okay to getting executed and you can see that five steps have already been executed only the sixth step is now remain to be executed and you can see that message has has already started to come right 
and if we see the first message come at 6:57 a.m. Uh, uses hello, second one uses hi, third one uses hey. Okay, uh, the first question and second question is same, but the third one is different. So this is the benefit of spin text. Like you are not sending the exact same message each and every time. You are sending. little bit of different messages and still you are following the same template message right so that way it is not the exact thing but yeah no one can say with 100% surety that uh, if that helps to like uh, from stopping your number getting block blocked but yeah it is a nice way to sending a different message so uh whatsapp or facebook thinks that you are not spamming your user or sending bulk messages okay uh, here you can see we got some other messages as well okay fagun 8 9 10 6 and 7 right so these were were executed after one extra minute of delay so 658 right and again you will able to see that the hello is here hey is here hello again hello again three time it selected hello three times so it is completely random but sometimes still it uh, pick up the same okay and you can see the questions are still different right and the newsletter is here and free automation course is here so yeah this is how it uh, the whole workflow works if you want i will leave uh, the workflow link in the description so you can just copy the workflow and i will also leave the google sheet link in the description so you can copy that right and you can see that formula i have uh, included in the delay column right and yes we have received the remaining of the messages right here it is so yeah this is how you will be able to send five messages per minute using the spin text and public connect with 360 dialog okay so yeah this is all for today's video guys and please don't forget to subscribe the channel that is the way you can support me and also if you want me to set up this type of automations you can message me on my facebook page or my facebook profile i would be happy to help you okay i am a full time freelancer uh, related to automation using pably and zapier so you can hire me uh, to do these automations for you okay great uh, see you in the next video guys bye